What's going on everybody? It is Matthew Schnoes, the Goal Crease Guardian, back here again. It is tier one time rematch with the best team in the league, the Mitten Sports Group. So let's go. All right, Mitten Sports, we're at it again. Best team in the league. We got them in the first game. Let's hope that we can keep it up. It was a it was a really good game out of me the first time, so gonna need that again. <laughs> wow, what a shot. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good when you hit basically all three posts on the first shot of the game. One of the things we're gonna have to do in this one is capitalize on whatever offensive chance we get because, I mean, they scored on their first shot and they have just so much offense. Ooh! Ubs with a nice couple of moves there. Walks the defender. Forehand, backhand, at a boy. There we go. Uh, so right here, I shuffle over, and I think that d because of that, I'm just not set enough on that shot. So I end up moving my hand up and getting beat low. That's where just a little bit better read, a little bit better push, and I think I make that save. Uh, I would definitely like to have that one back, especially after we just tied the game. Like, that hurts a little bit. Good drive. You can see I'm a little too aggressive on that and it doesn't give, A, it doesn't give me a chance to get to a backdoor play and B, I just kind of miss on the, the first one. The fake got me. Um, he fakes this. I've got a defender in front of me so I'm thinking he's gonna shoot it right away because of the pressure. He holds for a half a second and just beats me short side. Just. Not a great angle, a and just not patient enough. That that really is what did it to me there. And <laughs> now it's just raining goals. Um, shot through a screen. I'm just trying to make sure I make the first save. I do. It bounces right to a guy, and he actually goes between my arm and my body. Just gotta try. <laughs> that one was almost a no. Just got to try and keep um, keep the puck out of the net from here on out and give my team a chance to get a couple of goals to get back in it because we w crossbar we were capable of that in the last game. I think we scored four in the second period, so it's not like it's not doable. Nothing like having to scramble and just drop your stick. <laughs> Thank you, Will. I appreciate it. Um, not my best first period. One of the things that I think is different than the last time we played them is rebound control. They're putting a lot more pucks on my pads in this game, which is something they normally do a very good job of. They're very skilled, very smart players. I need to be controlling those rebounds a bit better, like there, 
um, to make sure that they're not getting second and third chances because that's where this team is really going to thrive. And that's something that I limited in the last game when we beat them. Glad my defenseman cleared that after I didn't catch it cleanly because that's one of those chances that we can't can't give them. Nice move, I got lucky he whiffed on that puck. The little tip on that, and then the second one is the one where I make a nice little left toe save. I'm very, very happy with that. Make a big save. Now we can try and capitalize on the momentum a little bit. This net is way off. I was expecting a whistle. Um, good stop, smother the rebound. I for sure thought he was gonna blow the whistle there when that net came off, but you know. <clears throat> Again, just not my best. Bad angle, down maybe a touch early. I just, it wasn't a great read, and now I fan on a puck, and at least I controlled that rebound. What a block, and then the shot back against the grain was actually a really tough save. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to get my leg there. Coming across, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm as much of that net as I can. Because of where the pass went, there's a much better patient save um, with the glove. But because of where that pass went, I just wanted to make sure that I stayed with my post. Oh yeah. Now we're finding a groove. Make the save, control the rebound, he just hits the guy in like the throat. Um, he was fine, thank, thankfully. but. This hits him like right in the chest and the chin, and he's able to settle it perfectly. And just a, a good save always helps to be tracking that puck because now I was able to find the rebound right away, get to it, and make a big save. Mmm. Big glove. This wouldn't have happened if I had controlled the rebound the first time, but able to make another big glove save. And we're really feeling feeling better. I've still given up a lot of goals, but I'm at least giving the team a chance that if we can score a couple. Like I said, if we can score a couple, we're there. And we're now only down three, so we're in position. It's men's league, anything can happen. I wanted to get that to the wall and missed. The wall is safer there for this. Great defense. Never gave him the chance to cut to the middle and get a shot off, so I had an easy job. There's another one. You can see how much they like to move that puck side to side. This one, because he went, he was further out, I went back to the VH as I slid across, thinking he would go high glove. He did, and I was able to make that save and control it.
All right. Second period was much better for rebound control. Still a lot of shots. I'm already at 52. We keep seeing more and more shots uh, each game for me recently. But this has been a much better kind of start to things. Or at least this has been a much better period over over time and I'm now giving my team a chance to kind of stay in it thank you. <laughs> good tip on the backdoor play not a whole lot I'm gonna do on that one maybe earlier in the game or if I'm a little less tired I make that save but okay team gets it back This one I stay down, probably should have gotten back up. The little dish off was nice, and then he goes a grain. Just because I've stayed down, it makes it harder on myself. Gotta recover there, but it's getting to that point where I'm starting to feel it a little bit with the shots and the pressure that they've had. Just need to be a little bit more uh, active there, honestly. So much in that game. Love the ref hiding behind the net. That's awesome. <laughs> Good defense there. Just stepping up on these guys, taking away their space, causes a lot of problems. And then here, he goes for the backhand. It's a rolling puck, and it just kind of dips underneath my glove. Not my best, but, you know. Now, now they're piling on the goals a little bit. Just shots and chances, that's what happens. Again, shuffled over, probably could have T-pushed. He made a great shot right up into the corner, but. I mean, with everything that's happened in this game, it's not like I've played poorly. It's just a lot of pucks have ended up in the net, whether it's something like this or uh, just a good shot. Like this one, great rebound control, but right to a guy and off of the middle of his stick and into the net. That pretty much sums up the game a little bit for me, I think. Well, all things considered, not a bad game, really. I mean, it was one of those games where faced a ton of shots, a ton of chances. I thought I played pretty well for the most part. Like I said, especially the first period, my rebound control wasn't the best. My third period, um, I was a little bit tired. What's the most amount of shots that you faced in a game? Because for me, this is right up there with 78. It beats the previous record of 62, 
that I had faced in the last time against him. I mean, I was relatively happy with the game. Just little mistakes, I think, that cost us early in the game and then late in the game, we were just trying to press and gave up some more chances. So, what are you gonna do? We've got more games coming. I've got some more content coming to the channel that I'm really excited to bring you. And I look forward to seeing everybody next time. So please head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you all for the next video. Oh,